Elevated home prices could turn out to be a blessing in disguise. Welcome to the latest LPL Street View. Now, why would we say rising home prices are good for some U.S. consumers? Well, it gets back to how the housing market relates to consumer spending. I want to talk about three facts about the U.S. consumer that make us believe that the average U.S. consumer is stable enough to weather the inflationary storm clouds this year and support our thesis that a recession this year is not likely in the cards. And these facts all relate to the housing market. So first, consumers were able to lower mortgage payments last year by taking advantage of historically low interest rates. So here's the point. Mortgage refinancing activity in the first half of 2021 was double the long-term average, yet not quite as high as the all-time refi boom in 2003, but still, timing was impeccable for those who were able to refi when mortgage rates were unbelievably low. So what does this mean in real terms? Well, it means that borrowers saved over $2,800 annually in mortgage payments by refinancing last year. Second, borrowers took advantage of surging home prices to cash out equity. In other words, rising home prices means those with home equity, in effect, got a raise in net worth. Given the low rates last year, homeowners were able to extract equity through cash out refinances. In fact, a majority of refinancing included cash out, and on net, roughly $60 billion was cashed out in the first quarter of 2021, and another $54 billion was cashed out in the second quarter. These are not quite as high as 2006 levels, but what it tells me is the U.S. consumer overall increased cash on hand for these current difficult times of elevated and persistent price levels. So as interest rates fall, we do know cash out share decline. So therefore, it's quite reasonable to believe that cash out activity this year will likely decline from last year's levels. Now third, the robust residential real estate market is helping the households who need it most. Looking at the last few years, we can see that lower income households were increasingly taking advantage of low interest rates and reducing their payments by refinancing their mortgages and taking cash out of one of their most important appreciating assets, their homes. So what does this all mean for the markets and the economy? We do not want to wear rose-colored glasses right now. Risks in the economy are real. The longer that high inflation lingers, the more damage is done to real purchasing power and the more likely inflation becomes entrenched in the economy. But the point here is that too many people focus on that unfortunate prospective buyer in a hot housing market and miss the fact that the wealth effect is real and can support household consumption. So in sum, recession risks remain, but our base case is no recession as consumers can sustain their spending from income growth, excess savings, revolving consumer credit, and as highlighted in this video, the wealth effect from rising home equity.